Hey guys, happy Wednesday. I hope you're all having a really good day today. So last week, um, Melt Cosmetics was having a sale. It was 40% off their lipsticks, 20% off their eyeshadows, and then there was some like package deal for their highlighters, but I didn't look at those and I did not choose to purchase any lipstick. However, I did place an order with them and it came a few days ago, but I've kind of been busy and I haven't had makeup on every day and I hate filming makeup like hauls without makeup on because I feel like it makes people think maybe you don't know what you're talking about. So I don't know if that's true or not. Feel free to comment below and correct me if I am wrong, but I thought it would be fun today if we did a melt haul and I showed you guys what I did order off of the website while it was on sale. So this is what the inside of the box looks like. Super duper fun packaging with all the multicolored lips on there. And like I said, I did already open this briefly, so then there's just some tissue on the top. They sent a flyer for the highlighters that I actually had seen before but didn't know where the brand melt. So now I know. They sent a little sticker of a purple mouth. And then underneath all the paper is the stuff that I ordered. So we will get into that. Let's just get this out of the way. So first I ordered two of their single shadows. I think these are both from the Lovesick stack. Uh, the first one is the Namesake Shadow from that stack. It is called Lovesick and it is a matte red. Let's see if I can get it out. I wonder if I can swatch these for you guys. There's a lot of them, but I could probably do at least a few. Anyway, these are all magnetic and they stack on top of each other, so I didn't get an extra lid. I figured I'd just add these to one of the other stacks that I did buy. So that is Lovesick. It's just a matte red. Um, it's not like an orangey red. It's like a more burgundy red. So there's the swatch on the finger. And this is with no primer. There's the swatch on the back of my hand. So you can see it's like crazy pigmented. It's still on the back of my hand or my finger there. And it looks like it'll blend out really nice. So that's absolutely beautiful. I'm so excited for these, you guys. I think that they're awesome. The next single shade I bought, I don't have a tissue or anything. Of course not. I did until earlier. I just threw them all out. The next single shade that I have is called Amelie. And this one is the only shimmery one that I have, I think. Um, this one is kind of a peach color with kind of a gold glitter running through it. And Amelie looks like this. You can kind of see the shimmer in it. And then I will swatch this one as well. And I will put it right there. That one is very glowy. It's harder to see on camera, but I can see it in person. I guess you can see it, but it's peach with the gold shine to it. That's really, really pretty. I can't wait to use that to do my makeup. Then I bought the, what is this? Dark Matter Stack, and it looks like this. It says melt all over it with the like black matte packaging and then the glossy writing, font, whatever. And so the black dark matter, dark matter stack is four eyeshadows and then the top one is a mirror, which is cool because it's the lid. So like I said, I'm going to um, probably add the other ones to this stack just to protect it. And then the shades in this stack are starting from the top. Um, I guess you could spread them out, but I'm super scared to do that. Like, you know, this. Anyway, the top shade is called Blur. And it's kind of just um, a matte, what would you call that? Like a matte acorn color almost. It's just like a really light neutral brown right there. Maybe slightly warm leaning. The next one in the stack is called Unseen. And that one is a slightly warmer brown than blur. Um... Let's see, I guess I could just swatch them all since that seems to be what we're doing. So here is on this finger, Unseen. And there is that one. Uh, the next one in the stack is called Enigma. And that is another kind of reddish one, but compared to, what is this, Lovesick? Um, they actually look really similar. This one's just a little bit darker than Lovesick. 
So let's swatch that one. I'll do it up here. Yeah, they're very similar, okay? I would honestly say if you already had one, you wouldn't need the other. I mean, side by side on my finger, they look a little different. This is the new one. That one's lovesick. And this is Enigma. Um, and Enigma doesn't seem to perform as well as lovesick, but that's okay. The rest of this stack is really cool. The last shade in this stack is Dark Matter, and that's their pitch black. That I'm not going to swatch because I feel like that's just going to make such a mess, and I can't really wrap my head around making such a mess right now because I still have more shadows to swatch and, um, you know, black eyeshadow. So, well, I guess we should swatch it because then we won't know otherwise if it's a good black eyeshadow or not. Okay, let's do it. There it is on the finger swatch, and there it is on the back of my hand. It doesn't look that crazy pigmented when I just swatch it like that, but I don't really wear a lot of black eyeshadow, so let's go over it again. Okay, you can build it up. Um, I might use it to set my eyeliner, so that's the only capacity in which I think I'll use it, but it's still, I guess, a decent black eyeshadow, and these colors are all so pretty, especially Amelie. I think that's my favorite so far. I'm, like, looking for somewhere to wipe this. And then the last thing I ordered is the Rust Stack. This one has five eyeshadows, not just four. So the stack is a little bit taller. Um, again, we have the mirror on the top, which I, I guess is cool. I don't, you know, it's got to have something for a lid. The first one, and now I'm scared to touch everything because of this black on my finger. Let's see if we can get it off. It's still swatching strong. The first shade in the Rust stack is called Classic, and that is like a yellow-based, um, like, they're all matte. Yellow-based, kind of like a highlight color because it's very, very neutral. It's close to my skin tone, just a little bit paler. So there's that one. And then the next one in the Rust stack is called Antique. And that is a matte, orangey, peachy color. It looks a little more yellow on camera than it does in real life. It's more orange to me, or cantaloupe colored, perhaps. It swatches very, very pale, but it does show up, and it would make a good transition color. So I do like that. Um, I will say about these shadows, while they are very nice, I don't see anything like too stand out about them, but I don't see anything wrong with them either. They're, 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 they're nice. The next one is called Rubbish, and it's kind of, like again, like a kind of squash colored one. It's a brown, but like a fawn brown or something. A little bit of a yellow undertone to Rubbish. I will swatch that right here. That one is very nice. Um, I don't, I don't know. We'll see if it looks good on my face. I look a little red right now. My makeup's kind of faded. The next one in the Rust stack is the namesake color. This one is called Rust, and this one is just a warm brown. I don't know what finger to stick in there. I feel like if I try to swatch it with anything, I'll make a mess, but we'll just try it like this. Sorry, eyeshadows. You're getting all my finger oils on you. So this one on the middle is Rust now. And there it is swatched. It's just a nice warm brown. These are amazing, honestly. Like, especially these two. I think they're my favorite. Love Sick and Amelie, which aren't even from the stacks. I really think those are my favorite. The last one from the rest stack is called Rot, R O T T. And that one is a very, very, very dark brown. And swatched, it looks like that. So that is the rest stack. The Dark Matter stack and two eyeshadows from the Love Sick stack. And they're amazing. They're, like I said, they're actually my two favorites. Those two right there. The rest are all nice too, and I'll get wear out of them, but these two are really special. So, anyway, I hope you guys liked this video of me hauling my Milk Cosmetics eyeshadows for you. If you did enjoy it, please give me a thumbs up. Um, feel free to subscribe if you like. I'm here every day and it's always something new to talk about. So I'm going to go because I have to get up super early in the morning, but I wanted to make sure I made a fun video for you guys and I really like this better than just sitting there complaining about having to wake up early. So thank you guys for that. I love you all so much and I thank you for watching and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.